how my Latin family hijacks my clean eating. Oh, we, oh, okay. So, okay. So my parents were both born in Dominican Republic. And then I want to say 10 years ago, they let my grandmother move in. So that's when like everything took over. That's when we started having like typical Dominican meals, like for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I had to put a stop to it. Um, I've just had to like take things out of my diet that um, either irritate me or like, don't let me go to the bathroom. So like I'm not eating bread of any sort. I'm not eating red meat or pork, carbs that don't really have fiber. The doctor I spoke to said some people have sensitivities to pesticides. So like my greens are organic, my fruits are organic. I have to buy like my own and sometimes like my family eats mine and I'm stuck with the ones that do have pesticides. <laughs> yeah, it's like... <laughs> Mommy tries to understand, abuela thinks that I'm dramatic and I'm sensitive. How? does my mom hijack it's my mom actually and my mother-in-law hijack my diet they send me this stuff from puerto rico which is actually their way of saying i love you i miss you cookies from puerto rico like all sugar bimbos who doesn't remember bimbos oh my god it's four o'clock i want a cookie so badly right now i will get maybe two I might get a tea with it. And then cameos, of course. These are not just regular cookies. These are cookies with like sugar, but like white sugar, the really bad one. They're yummy though. I force myself to create this schedule. So I have two cookies per day. I, I had two palitos de guayaba this morning. So right now, I'll just keep it, you know, to myself. I'll just forget that I'm a little hungry and I might just drink water. So you want me to look at you? Yeah. Okay. Mm, kind of started last summer when I moved back in with my mom to save some money and she has a very different idea of what we should be eating for dinner so it's mainly rice or meat or some other starch that accompanies it because we're peruvian so they eat a lot of potatoes my mom's side of the fridge looks completely different like she's like whole milk and a lot of rice and leftovers and like a lot of white bread and then my side of the fridge is like whole wheat bread and real butter and a lot of fruits and vegetables so it's 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 like two completely different people. Chia seeds. She doesn't get it, really. Like I put them in my smoothies and I, I told her what they were and the benefits and she's just like, ¿Qué es esto? ¿Esto se pone en un smoothie? No. No. <laughs> if I see an empanada or some frituras or a pan de bono, I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> but not every day. I think that's just it. It's just not every day.